Yes. My favorite video game of all time. Mega Man 2. Now, I've done a time to play of this a long time ago, but the quality was not good, and it's one of the videos I took down, and this game deserves better. So, and the quality in this video isn't the best either. It's kind of distorted a little bit, but it's much better than the quality I had before. I was using the webcam quality, the bootleg type review, and uh, so I am redoing this. This is one of the first time to plays I did on YouTube, and now it's a redo. And it deserves a redo, because this is, in my opinion, the game that put Mega Man on the map. And the soundtrack for this game was just unbelievable. And this is the only Mega Man game that I believe, uh, definitely the only Mega Man game out of the original series for the NES, to have normal and difficult, um, the, the, the normal difficult modes. Difficult is actually more like normal challenge. Normal is like, it's easy to beat all the Robot Masters without using um, the other Robot Masters special weapons on them. And I like this song too. Then this game takes me back in the day. And Bubble Man, Air Man, Quick Man, Heat Man, Wood Man, Metal Man, Flash Man, and Crash Man. Uh, now, I used to, I'm, I'm used to going through the order uh, from Bubble Man, Air Man, Heat Man, Wood, Wood Man, and all, all that stuff. That's how I played the game when I was a kid, but I'm going to do it differently on here. Um, I want to start with Metal Man. As Skip Rogers says, start with Metal Man. And pretty much every stage in this game has the awesome, uh, awesome music. Except Crash Man. I don't really care about Crash Man's or Heat Man's music that much. But the rest of the game, awesome music. Awesome. And Metal Man's pretty much the easiest robot master. Him and Bow Man, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say uh, Metal Man is the easiest robot master in the game. And yes, I played this game before I played Mega Man 1. I think a lot of people did. Wait, let me get. I forget. That part right there is kind of a waste. I, I played this game with a bunch of my friends when I was little, and one of my friends said that part I just came from, that screen I just came from, is kind of a waste of space because there's nothing right there. It's just a conveyor belt, but oh well. I don't care. Ain't, ain't nothing to complain about. Ow. Watch me. All right. Extra man. Alright, now this right here, I'm going to have to kill myself because I don't have item 2 yet. I think you have to beat Airman. Airman or Flashman to get item 2. Yeah, because in Heat Man stage, you got to have item 2 to get through that lava pit. Unless you want to jump on those, those reappearing bricks. That part's freaking hard, so I'm not going to... I want to do it the easy way. I'm going to use item 2 to get past that part later on. Yeah, I'm not the best player in the world at this, but heck, I know more than Skip Rogers. My goodness, his review of that game is ridiculous. Or his, yeah, his quote-unquote review, or his quote-unquote tip video. If you can't beat it, run. You can't run from the bosses, you idiot. Alright, here we go, the first Robot, robot Master battle. Here's how you fight Metal Man, as Skip Rogers would say. No, you don't need an energy tank. Now, no, I'm just like getting my butt kicked here, but I'll eventually beat him. Look at that, uh. 
uh, on the S2K show that uh, me, Venom, and the Unknown did. Um, I remember Venom pointing out that Metal Man looks like a Doctor Ninja. Yeah, it kind of does. Get equipped with Metal Blade. Alright, next is... Bubble Man. Awesome entrances, awesome entrance music. Everything in this game is pretty much awesome. My favorite video game of all time, but I still give it 9.5 out of 10 instead of a perfect 10. I feel like giving it a perfect 10, but, you know, I'm just a tough critic, I guess. And Crash Man and Heat Man's music, I don't like that well, so that's probably what bumped it down to half of, uh, or to a 9.5 out of 10. This music right here is one of the sweetest in the game. And the graphics, too. I mean, look at this waterfall in the background. I mean... Man, this game takes me back in the day. I played this with a bunch of my friends when we were kids. I never met anybody in person. I mean, never met anybody or talked to anybody that said anything bad about this game or said or said that this game was bad. The only person I heard say anything bad about this game was some reviewer on GameSpot. Not from the GameSpot staff, but one of the, one of the people that can make an account and log in and write a review about a game. He didn't like the game. He gave it like a 4.5 something. I thought that was ridiculous. I need to hunt them down and seriously pound the snot out of them for saying that, but... Oh yeah, watch out for the spikes! Make sure you watch out for the spikes, guys. Skip Rogers will tell you that, watch out for the spikes. music's so awesome, I just feel like doing a shut up and play video about this instead of time to play, but I want to, there's so much to say about this game, so, so much cool things. So I might not talk that much in this series because the music's so awesome. And here's how you fight Bubble Man. Use the metal blade. No, don't use the metal blade. That's probably what he'll Skip Rogers would say. I remember Moss and Vic's. I don't know if some of y'all. There used to be two reviewers on YouTube that share the same channel, Moss and Vic, and they were great reviewers. They reviewed Mega Man 2, and they said that um, this, uh, the Metal Man weapon, is the mo is the uh, I think they said is the greatest and most broken weapon in the game. I mean, it, it, you never run out. Pretty much, you use it all the time. All right, we are now entering the world of the Woodman. One of the best songs in the game right here. Now this part's cool. This big dog, man, it was just impressive to see when I was a kid. Pretty scary. Oh, I gotta fight this big freaking fire-breathing dog. Uh, oh yeah, quick note, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Um, I didn't know anything about Mega Man 2 when I played it. Now, when I was a kid, for some stupid reason, I thought you could, the, the, the Robot Master Select screen, I thought those were robots you can play as. Like, now, I remember picking Airman one day, and they're picking all these robots, and I was like, okay, I picked Airman. I'm at a stage, but I don't look like Airman. I look like the regular Mega Man. And then one day, uh, so I didn't really understand the concept of it. I was real, I'm about 9 and 10, and I was not that bright when I was a kid. And uh, then I heard somebody say one day, we were all playing Mega Man, someone said, oh man, he's hard. And 
and uh, I was like, oh, you gotta fight these guys. You fight these robot masters. Or, or, I call it robots, not robot masters. I know what they were back then. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was dumb back then, but anyway, it's still all good. It's still good nostalgia. I mean, everybody I grew up with, everybody, I mean, was liking this game and there was a time where one of my friends, we were actually literally about to fight over this game. I mean, we were like, I think, fighting over the controller. No, it's my turn. No, it's my turn. And he took a swing at my face and he missed. We were about to fight each other for real for this game. I mean, that's how popular this game was, man. I mean, people were probably fighting all over it. Uh, fighting. People all over the world probably fighting for it. And I was literally about to fight for it, too. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even my game. I'm like, no, it's my turn. Watch out. Everybody wanted to play this game. Alright, now time to fight the Woodman! Alright, use Metal Blade. I don't care what Skip Rogers says, use the Metal Freaking Blade. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm shooting the wrong way. Huh. Yeah, that's how you do it, Skip. I like that victory music right there. Mega Man looks constipated right there. <laughs> it's, it's the quality of my computer, or maybe this emulator. <laughs> the bird trick. For those of you who don't know it, is you hold down A and B at the same time after you select the robot master. Nothing special, but it's kind of funny. Alright. Oh, watch out. This is probably the second or third best song in the game. I say number three in the top three. Um, I think number two is Flashman, and number one is Dr. Wally Stage 1 and 2. Those of you watching, uh, post a comment and just let me know what is your favorite song in the game. I, it'd be interesting to know that. Maybe we have a, a debate on that on this video, you know, post your favorite, or maybe post a video response, or whatever. Let's argue over the best song in this game. That'd be fun, because there's so many great songs in this game. I don't know how we're going to argue over it. What's, what the, what's the argument going to be about? Well, Air Man is better because it has this beat, or that certain beat. Or <laughs> well, just, you know, just go ahead and state your opinion. Let me know what's your favorite song in the game. I mean, uh, like Crash Man at Heat Man's... Crash Man's, I think, is kind of stupid. It doesn't even fit his character. And uh, Heat Man's though is not bad. I just it just didn't appeal to me like the rest of the tra soundtrack. There's a Heat Man remix um, that I heard. It's all is very well done. And this really does take me back. I mean, and this apartment I'm living in—I'm living in right now. It's, it's not the same apartment, but I've li I lived in this complex all my life, or most of my life. And you know, this is where I really got to know Mega Man too. With the, the old friends of mine that lived here. It's not the, I played Mega Man 2 the first time I think elsewhere, but when I finally moved to this complex when I was 10. That's when I started to play it a lot more. Man, I mean, everybody I grew up with wanted to play this game. Everybody wanted this game. All right, Airman, jump the tornadoes to kill Airman. To kill Airman. Ow! There we go. I hit him, you idiot. There you go. And that's that's how you fight Metal Man. Air shooter, not the air gun skip. Message from Santa Claus. Item two, yes, this is where you get the jet ski. 
<laughs> oh, skip, skip. Alright, item two, the jet ski. Now, we are ready to take on Clash Man! Or the American version, Crash Man. I thought it was the Japanese version, I think it was Clash Man or the Game Boy version, I'm not sure. Anyway, I hate the song. Well, it's, okay, it's not that bad, but it, it, it don't fit Crash Man's character. Crash Man's supposed to be this bomber, you know. Give him some better music. This, this music could be used for, I don't know, some goof robot master. Like Dust Man. <laughs> I mean, you don't like a stage where you where you blow up stuff and I mean Crash Man. I mean that this this is probably one of the very few flaws of this game. Crash Man, you know this stage it's supposed to be uh, you know, Crash Man. He th shoots bombs at you, but this whole stage ain't really based on anything that blows up. You know, like Bomb Man from Part One. You know, um, he has stuff that blew up and you shoot those bullets. The look like bullet bills from Mario Brothers that blow up. On here, there's nothing really anything that crashes or blows up, you know. Crash Man, this should have made into like a crash test dummy type robot master, you know. You turn to, you know, have, have a set of wheels and try to crash into you while shooting at you or something. That would make more sense. But anyway, I'm not, I mean, I hate, I hate to say anything bad about this game, so I'm gonna uh, leave it at that. Um, but... Yeah, this part right here, Skip Rogers. To get past this guy, jump out, then jump back. Oh, wait a minute. Well, phew, I guess Skip Rogers is right for once. No, this is how you do it. Ah, uh, there you go. This is how you do it. All right. Ah! Get up there. Ooh. Yeah. Dang, all them items over there. Now, wait a minute. Wrong ladder. There we go. Now I'm on the right one. Idiot cat, you can't turn around and shoot me, ha! Huh? Alright. Let's grab another E. Oh, the evil grasshoppers from hell. Crash Man. He is so easy with the air tornado. When I was a kid, he's like the hardest robot master to me. I could not beat him for the longest time because I also didn't realize you could use the robot master's weak uh, power ups that you get from them. You know, because again, I was an idiot, and so I beat the whole game on normal when I was a kid with regular with the regular gun. Except for the last Doctor Wily battle, you have to use Bubble Lid. Right. Heat man. He's on fire. Now this song is better than Crash Man's. Green grasshoppers now. I know they're not really grasshoppers. They just remind me of them.
Bath of Dow Cleaners now. Yeah. Oh. Slinkies, whatever they're called. Oh, I hate this part. Oh man. Duh, duh, duh. I hate this part of all Mega Man games. Duh, duh. <laughs> See, this song fits perfectly for Heat Man. All right, here's Crane now. Nobody better say anything bad about this game. I'm gonna bust you in the mouth. Now, I wanna try something different here. I think I thought you could use Crash Man's weapon. I used I usually use Bubble Man's, but I thought Crash Man, from what I heard or thought I heard, Crash Man's actually the ultimate weakness. Yeah, that worked. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, well, shoot. Maybe I should listen to Skip Rogers and just jump over him, then fire. That's pathetic. Skip Rogers beats Heat Man, but I don't. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Come on now. Maybe I'll do it when he's coming at me like that. Hey, that didn't work. That backfired. Um, I'm going to stick to my original plan. Ow! Out again. That'd be embarrassing. At least I, at least I was smart enough to use Bubba Man's weapon and not the regular gun, like Skip Rogers will have you do it. I thought Crash Man's was the weakness. I guess I was probably doing it wrong. I mean, he's got to be against the wall while the bomb explodes. I don't know, but anyway. Message from Santa Claus again. Alright, item one. You'll need that for Dr. Wally's stage. Alright, look like Hulk Hogan now. Alright. Flashman. Music's so awesome. Now it's getting crunk. Second best song in the game. Stay to the right here, and the big guy can't get you. Shut up. Yes, he can. Stay on top here. Grab another E.
weird background for this for this room, but that's okay. You can also use metal blade, but I prefer bubble lead. I think it's better. I don't know. Who cares? That's what I'm used to using. Oh, cool. Right when he fr uh, froze me, I beat him. Or as Skip Rogers would call it, the freeze power. Shut up. Thanks, Santa Claus again. Get equipped with item thress. Alright, nobody else to pick but Quick Man. One of the, the second hardest robot master to me when I was a kid. That's because I didn't know you could use the freeze power. Alright, I love this Mexican music right here, it's awesome. Probably the fourth best song in the game. Well, well I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of hard to rank them. I really think, in my opinion, the top three. I oh, mean, I don't know, because I also love Bubba Man. I said it, it's number three, Air Man, number two, Flash Man, the number one, Dr. Wally Stage, one and two. But, man, oh, this part was hard, the quick beams. Jump right down the middle to avoid the beams. And let's drink Ovaltine, guys! <laughs> Funny Magus quote right there. Um, back to the music. Um, I don't know. It's hard to rank him. I honestly think Dr. Wally Stage music one and two is probably my favorite in the entire game. But, I mean, the greatest songs in this game, you got Boba Man, Air Man, this one, Quick Man, Flash Man. And I'll shut up now so we can listen to it. Quick man. I'll try to get his energy halfway down first before using the freeze power. I'm better known as the time stopper. Even though it says F, it's time stopper. Uh, that's not enough to beat him. Okay, watch out. Oh, close one. That's one minor thing I don't like. Another minor thing I don't like about this game. Mega Man is pink right there. But that's okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Dr. W. After listening to Dr. Wally's entrance music to Skull Castle, it made me think of Skip Rogers' tips for some reason. Alright, here we go. The best music in the game right here. Dr. Wally stage 1 and 2. Thank you. 
awesome. I'd like to meet the person that composed the music in this game. I gotta meet them. Him or her or them. I don't I gotta meet them. Item one right here. There we go. Man, sometimes it took me a long time to get past that part. All right. Looks dark and scary in here. Whoa! Yeah, that scared me when I was a kid. I was like, whoa! When I first seen that, I was like, wow, that's just so awesome. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, man! Well, how's a little guy wearing pink gonna whoop a big dragon anyway? Um. Ow. Watch it. Watch out for the bathroom job cleaner. Um, well, at least you don't have to contend with the disappearing blocks right here. Actually, I don't think they disappear. I think they're in the background, then they kind of push out of the wall in the Mega Man series, depending on where you are. But anyway. Go with the battle with the dragon, part two. No, I'm not yawning because I'm bored of this game. I'm, I really am tired, but I'm still doing this because I love this freaking game. Oh, come on, could get a head start right there. <laughs> be funny if we could. I think you also use the Heat Man's weapon to do that, to beat this, the dragon as well. <laughs> Skips tips. If you can't beat it, run. Watch for free lives and energy. Never give up. And the fourth level is tough. <laughs> the fourth level is tough, by the way, in this game. Dr. Wally Stage 4. That level really is tough. So if Skip Rogers uh, should have put that uh, for Skip's tips, he should have put that for this game. Even though it wouldn't really be a tip, it's still not helping you. I mean, the only way that tip helps is just to kind of get you ready for the level. Like, alright, this is tough, so let's do our best, but that still don't help. Alright, Dr. Wally Stage 2. More of the same awesome music. right here. This should have been in Drill Man stage. I don't think these drills were in Drill Man stage in Mega Man 4. Very 
Maybe it should have made Screw Man. He'd be chopping the slower music. That'd be funny. Come on, man. Freaking candy wrapper platforms. There we go. Things are like bubblegum wrappers, don't they? Yeah, they do. Shut up. <laughs> Look at all my fans. Ha! Um, okay, that was the dumbest joke ever made in a review right there. <laughs> the dumbest joke. Okay, this is a unique boss. He found a bunch of the bricks that come out of the of this of this room. It's not that hard. It's not really that hard at all. Look out! Ah! Oh. Awesome boss battle music. I forgot to talk about the boss battle music, I think. Awesome. Oh, yeah. ECW. Skips tips. Never give up. Do your best. Eat your vitamins. Say your prayers. All right, Dr. Wadi stage three. This level, uh, this music is pretty cool. It's kind of scary and eerie, you know. These next two stages are kind of eerie, and the next level is freaking hard. Or, yeah, the next level is the hardest in my opinion in the entire game, especially the freaking boss. And we'll get to that later. Whoa, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a giant robot fish jumping up at me, but it, had, it didn't happen. I've never seen that not happen before. Anyway, uh, this part could be freaking anal. I guess they got the idea for Sparkman stage in Mega Man 3. Not from there, but they used this idea for that stage. Yeah, that water looks like uh, manure or sewer water or something. Anyway. Alright, this boss is easy, but awesome. It's the Guts Dozer. Guts Man has come back to life. Easier than ever. <laughs> Still a cool looking boss though. Freaking stage in the entire game. And you'll find out why when I get to the boss. This whole stage itself can be pretty challenging as well. Man, watch out. This ain't Simon's Quest, come on. Alright, there's another invisible pit right there. Gotta watch out for that. Uh, I can't get any more energy tanks. Another, another minor flaw about this game, you can only get four energy tanks. You can only get four energy tanks, no more than that. But, oh well. It's not a big deal. This glitch right here. 
I found out uh, from somebody on YouTube. I use the leaf shield right here. item 2 right here, or the jet ski, but I like to do things the risky way, because I'm stupid. There you go. Good eerie music. Alright, I gotta make sure to power up right here. I gotta make sure the crash bomb is powered up all the way, and item 1 is powered up all the way, and I gotta have some power for item 3. I want to say this next boss is ridiculously hard, but it's not ridiculously hard. It's just, it's hard and it can be anal. some sort of supercomputer, or I don't know what the heck I'm fighting, but it's hard. I use the pause trick, just like you use the Mega Man 1, to not get shot. Alright. Well, you know what's a bunk about this? If you run, run out of crash bombs, or item 1 or item 3, um, you might as well give up, because the only way to beat these shooting things with a crash bomb. So you might as well let them kill you. And you can't reset the game and start over at the stage because when you use the password you start at Dr. Wily stage 1. Which I always hate in Mega Man games, you know? This just starts you at the same stage that you got the password from. What's the point give you... I think some Mega Man games will give you the password and later Dr. Wally stages, but when you use it, you go back to the first Dr. Wally stage. But what's the point of getting the password if you're not going to start that stage? Oh, look out. There's a glitch where, um, I'm not trying to make it happen, but one of the green barriers are, are gone. And that's one less barrier you have to deal with. The one on the bottom right is gone. I don't know how I, I do that. I guess when you destroy it in the previous battle, when you destroy it, then you die and you come back. I guess it stays destroyed. I don't know. Aw, oh, what? Okay, watch out. I know this pause trick's annoying, but I want to, I want to save my energy tanks for the next battle. For, for the, my first Dr. Wally battle. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. That usually takes me like two or three tries to beat. But I did one try this time. That's good. Why is Mega Man's face disappearing and reappearing, reappearing again? <laughs> it's a glitch. Alright, Dr. Wily. Now what? What? Gotta fight all the bosses again. Thank <laughs> you. 
watch out. It's gonna be easy. Come here, come on. Yeah, I forgot you can shoot up. There you go. Now I got heat man's weapon, I'll kill him in one shot. Yeah, what? Now I look like Hulk Hogan. I guess I'm immortal now. But no, but I gotta switch to Leaf Shield. Dang, you only got like two shots of it left. Jump the tornadoes to kill Airman. Ah, what? Ah, dang it. That's alright, I got him. Bubble at this time. I hate to burst your bubble, but you lost. Ha! Huh? All right, bubble it again. Doctor Ninja. As we, as, oh, yeah, one hit with the middle blade. <laughs> I was about to say, as we run in place, but he didn't get a chance to run in place. Cause he, one shot from his own weapon. Talk about getting a taste of your own medicine. Ha! <clears throat> Here we go, first off to Wally battle. What? Okay, well that didn't work. Okay, I think it's the middle blade. Here we go. This is why I need energy tanks. That I mean, I always get hit and damaged real bad right here. Ah. All right. Why won't you die? Now it's quick room right time. Come on. Come on, Bret Hart. Hit him. Come on, there we go. Oh, but it's not over yet. Get the final battle with Wily. In hell! Okay, I land in midair right there, then I fall down again. Um, I like the stage, even though it has no music, because it's that eeriness, you know, that silent before the, the calm before the storm. So I like that. But there's lava droppings over here, and they would take up a lot of damage, well, because you know they're lava. It's like in the last castle on Simon's Quest. It's eerie, there's nothing going on. And that's what makes the, the creepy atmosphere, the calm before the storm. And here we go. Oh, he wants to fight hand to hand? What? He's an alien all this time? And Bubble Lead is the only weapon that you can use against the alien Dr. Wally. I believe if you shoot him with any other weapon, his energy will go will automatically go all the way back up. But one bad thing though, you know, just like in the fourth Wally boss, if you run out of uh, your weapon power, you can't fill up. So you have to die. Oh, I know Mega Man Anniversary Collection, if you shoot the alien Wally with any other weapon besides the bubble lid, his energy fills up all the way. I don't want to try that right now. I want to hurry up and beat him. But this is dumb. The first Wally battle is much harder than this one. This should be the hardest, it's the final battle. But, oh well. 
It still makes you think, he's an alien this whole time? I don't get it. But then you come to find out, it was all an illusion. And that's pretty cool. You got a giant disco ball malfunctioning. These earphones are killing me. And he cries. Now see right here, don't make me capture him. How does he get free and conquer the world again in Mega Man 3? Well, I think the storyline was he uh, wants to rejoin Dr. Light and claims that he's good. I guess Mega Man let him go. I don't know. But anyway, this ending is not all that good, to be honest with you, but I love it because of the music. And he's just walking, I guess, walking home or whatever, and it shows all the, the colors of all the stages that you've been through. Uh, it just... This ending is awesome. Let's listen. I wish they could have done more of the ending, but it was pretty sweet. The, the music is what makes it awesome. And I want to meet the creators or the designers of these Robot Masters. I mean, I want to meet everybody that was involved in making Mega Man 2. This is one of the greatest games of all time. My favorite video game of all time, and it is the game that put the series on the map. I didn't like Mega Man 1 that much. It's not a bad game, but man, it really fails in comparison to Mega Man's 2, 3, 4, and 5. 6 was okay, 6 was not bad, but 2, 3, 4, and 5 are my favorite of the NES games. Yuki Chan's Papa, what the heck? This song makes me want to clap my hands. <laughs> Fish man? Why was he in the game? They should have used him instead of freaking Dive Man for making it four. Okay, well there you go. Um I was very glad and very honored to do this uh let's play or time to play as I call it. Um on Mega Man 2, my favorite video game of all time. I'm glad I can redo it. Alright, I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.